Diamond Judah Douglas, famously known as Mario Judah, is a songwriter, a singer, an American rapper, and a record producer. The star is known for his chubby physique, electric red-colored hair, and his leather and chain accessories. He started producing music in 2017, and his single, Die Very Rough, brought him to the limelight. Also, an internet meme brought him further unexpected fame. He popularly criticized his rapper colleague Playboy Cardi for not being able to release Whole Lotta Red, his second studio album. He has had an exciting life worth hearing about, and this video will explore his personal life, girlfriend, and exploits in the entertainment industry. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If you haven't, kindly touch the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. First, let us learn 10 quick facts about Mario Giuda before we delve into more details. 1. He was born on the 6th of December 1999 in Flint, Michigan, US, and his Ugandan parents brought him up in Atlanta, Georgia. 2. His dad sent him to a military school because he was causing so much trouble in his previous school. 3. He studied welding in college. 4. Mario's musical career has been momentary, but it has gained him popularity and wealth. 5. His song, Die Very Rough, has monthly listeners of about 40 Kelvin's followers on SoundCloud and about 1.4 million on Spotify. 6. In an interview with Our Generation Music, Mario mentioned that he is fat because he stays home every time producing beats. But he said he's already working on how he'll lose weight. 7. During one of his performances, he suffered two heart attacks. Rumors had it that he died, but he did not die. He's still alive. 8. He believes in hard work and focuses on being the best rapper. 9. About his relationship, he has been secretive about it. He has not said anything about his girlfriend yet. 10. The famous singer carries electric red-colored hair, which he believes in symbolizing dominance. Mario Judah is a very private person and rarely shares details about his private affairs on the internet. However, as for his early life, we found that he was born to his Ugandan parents in Flint, Michigan, and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. His parents considered their son to be a math prodigy. We have limited information about his parents' names or what they do. He mentioned in an interview that since he got a breakthrough in his music career, he hadn't traveled to Atlanta to visit his family, although he plans to visit his family. And that's all I ever really wanted to do was just be that. And um, around January of this time, um, someone was like, you know what, you should start songwriting and, and you know, making hooks and everything. Like As for his views on life, the rapper has quite some opinionated takes on celebrity life. When someone asked him what he thought about becoming a star, he said he believes in leadership and hates to appear fake but loves to be authentic. In his words, leadership is probably the main thing and just being a man of the people. Like, somebody that stands on something, and the main attitude is I don't give an F. Whatever it is, whatever I feel, whatever I speak on, I feel. I'm not giving rebuttals. He also said being a rock star is a mentality of not caring but in a positive way that motivates and fuels people. As for his artistry, Mario Judah mixed beats for years but never made waves until a friend proposed to him to try writing hooks for artists to sing, and then he gave it a shot. After some months of trying, he did not succeed. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he was in Atlanta, he felt low and down. Then one day, he tried to sing, using a different approach from his previous songs. And that was the day Judah realized his superpower. He said that he couldn't sing before that day and suddenly felt that Mario had found a cheat code or treasure that he never knew existed. Within a few days of releasing the song, it captured the attention of One Room Media, a production company, who invited Mario to Maryland to shoot a video for the music, and boom. It went bang. Someone asked him what inspired his looks. He said his hair is iconic, and in the color realm, three colors grab people's attention, green, blue and red. Mario said red is his favorite color which symbolizes dominance. He started producing beats around 2016 and did not know he could sing not until he recorded his song Die Very Rough in 2020. The song spread very fast on various social media platforms and was ranked 75 on the top 100 hum songs of 2020 in the US by Billboard and Google. 
It reached the top of Spotify's Global Viral 50 chart on the 15th of October 2020. Before then, in June 2020, he had uploaded his first single, Crush, to SoundCloud. When he released Die Very Rough's music video, it gained popularity views on social media platforms. When the official music video was released, it was popular on Twitter, and people even made many memes of the song, contrasting the vocal and lyrical style of Mario to that of a Disney villain. At the 2020 Rolling Loud Festival in October, Mario performed, which helped increase the number of his audience. Same October, he released a cover of DaBaby's hit song Rockstar. On the 30th of November, Mario declared on Instagram that since the American rapper Playboy Cardi had frustrations in releasing his second studio album, Whole Lotta Red, Mario would release it himself. And he gave the rapper just one week to release the song on the 6th of December. On the 11th of December, Mario released the lead single from Whole Lotta Red, Be Ya, which received positive reviews from his fans. Then on the 11th of December, he released the first half of Whole Lotta Red, as an EP. Mario's music style expresses goth metal and rap rock with a unique vibrato blend. Mario states that it was recent he discovered that he could sing. He went after rap for himself instead of helping other artists produce. He mentioned Five Finger Death Punch, Breaking Benjamin, and Pantera as his musical authority and affirmed that his go-to genre is rock music. Great fans of Mario Judah include fellow rappers like Lil Uzi Vert and Trippy Red. When asked how he found his identity as Mario Judah because many people struggle with an identity crisis, he responded that everyone's identity is within them. Nothing should be calculated, planned, or even fabricated. In his words, I feel like, with me, it was organic. I live by that. Nothing should be forced, as things happen organically. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out on its own. When someone also asked him to advise people who are still trying to find their unique selves, he counseled them to stop spending too much time in group sessions, determining what to do with their lives based on people's opinions. He said at the end of the day, everybody has his path and his own life, and it would be best if people find what is inside of them by being themselves for a very long time. Mario Judah is approximately 5 feet and 8 inches tall, we don't know his exact body weight and measurement, but through his pictures on Instagram, you can guess his weight to be around 90 to 100 kilograms. There is also no information available regarding his girlfriend or even his relationship status. The record producer and singer is private about his personal life, it is difficult to say anything about his love life. Many people believe that Mario is not in any relationship with a girl that might be on the verge of separation. He famously suffered a heart attack while performing one of his songs on stage. Later, sources disclosed that he had suffered a heart attack more than once in the middle of his performance, although many people considered it as a meme and found it ridiculously funny. Initially, fans thought he just got excited while performing, which caused him to fall to the ground. They later realized that it was a medical crisis that had befallen him. There were rumors at the time that he had passed, but the stories were false. He is active on Instagram and TikTok with thousands of followers. Several online sources claim that he has accumulated a net worth of $300,000 in a short time of his music career through selling his songs and mixing beats, and he's using his popularity on social media for brand endorsement. Mario Judah's fans and followers love and appreciate his music style, looks, and weird songs. Mario believes in hard work. Although he struggled initially, he eventually pulled through. His presence in the entertainment industry is a world on its own. Although he has weird looks and picture postures, we can't deny that he is talented and unique. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydamex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.